Okay, Tim, probably the biggest story of the year of our lifetimes, maybe, the economy. Give me a number. Well, let's go for 900 billion. I'll start writing it because it'll take a while. 900 billion is, or was, the amount of money that the government owed investors. It keeps going up, so this is already out of date. Can you stick another three noughts on for me? Now, this number is going up all the time. What does it mean for an ordinary family? Well, we could divide 900 billion by the number of people there are in the country, about 60 million. And if we do that, it puts it on a more human scale. You get 15,000 pounds. That's the amount of money that the government owes per person. Now, the real problem is actually the rate at which this is going up. Another 10 billion pounds or so a month. And that's enough for the government, just out of the money it borrows, to pay for a £600 computer for every family of four every month. So forget the £15,000, it's the borrowing every month. On top of that, I can have a computer every month. Yeah, except you can't, because <laughs> the government's spending it on unemployment benefit, pensions and everything else. It's that new borrowing, not the £900 billion, that's what, what really worries economists. OK, we'll move on to some good news now, the, the royal wedding. Ah, oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> now, we were all saying, journalists, typical journalists, that two billion people could be watching this event. Is that true? It's a big number, isn't it? Shall we write that one down? Um, you know, there's a real history of this. Um, an awful lot of people tend to claim that huge numbers of people watch these events, whether it's royal weddings, whether it's premiership football. The best hard data we have is that the most popular televised event of all time was the opening ceremony to the Beijing Olympics. That's only one billion. Really no reason to think two billion people watch the royal wedding. A more realistic estimate would be probably 300 million. We just don't know for sure. That's still a lot of people. The other thing worth thinking about is when you see these statistics, we often think we imagine what it is that the statistic is telling us. But these numbers will generally include people who might have seen a 10 second clip on the evening news and you're still counted as having seen the television footage. Like me, obviously I was glued to it all day. We, we both were, I we didn't both go were. Shopping, honest. But, but that's two, that's <laughs> not two billion. Okay. At the Games of the 30th Olympiad in 2012, are awarded to the city of London. We've done it! OK, 2012. You can't say 2012 without saying Olympics, can you? So give me an Olympian figure. Well, one piece of research that has been published claims that the Olympics will boost spending by £750 million, which sounds very impressive. My question is, if that does happen, how are they going to know? Because £750 million per person is only... £12. And I'm slightly doubtful about even this. Economists have studied the economics of these kinds of really big events. They find there's a very consistent pattern. Big claims before the event about how much it's going to boost the economy, for obvious reasons, and then after the event, you study it and you hardly notice it in the, the economic data. Thank you very much for all of that. I'm going to leave you with a figure now, as my dad says, BFH. Bus fare home. There you go. I think I should count myself lucky. <laughs>